cool temperate gardeners can finally say goodbye to full on frosts, meaning it's the perfect time to prune off foliage damaged by the cold. Follow this up with a good feed. If you grow apples or quinces, don't lose your crop to codling moth. Lay thick cardboard and mulch around trees and wrap hessian around trunks to prevent larvae feasting on fruits. The whack of warmer weather has winter veggies running to seed, so pull them out, chop them up and chuck them into the compost. They'll heat the heap nicely and break down in no time. In warm temperate gardens, plant for pollinators and predators with a mix of helpful herbs. Dill, yarrow, comfrey, chamomile and borage will get those butte beneficials buzzing. Lawn lovers, it's time to raise the cutting heights of your mowers. Longer lawn provides shade for soil, making it more heat tolerant and less likely to be smashed by summer. It's a perfect time to plant or relocate evergreen trees and shrubs. Whether edible or exotic, most will benefit from a haircut to reduce transplant stress and help roots re-establish. Subtropical gardeners give flowering faves like alamander, masayenda and plumbago a trim and tidy, some organic fertiliser and a good drink and they'll reward with a stunning summer show. If you've sown seeds, look after your babies. Keep seed beds moist, thin out and transplant overcrowded seedlings and keep young plants protected from the sun with some shade cloth. High yielding lovers of heat and humidity, snake beans can be planted now. Find a sunny spot and give them something to climb and you'll be picking plump pods in no time. Sow seeds of Darwin lettuce, an oak leaf lettuce variety that thrives in the tropics and is slow to bolt to seed. Just keep an eye out for snails and slugs on young seedlings. Before the onset of any wild weather, give trees a bit of a prune. Clear overgrowth, remove any damaged or diseased wood and manage branches hanging over fences and walkways. Cut sweet leaf to the ground and in a week or two, the plant will be covered in fresh foliage. The tasty young leaves just perfect for savoury soups and stir fries. Arid gardeners chuck in some chilies. Varieties with long, thin fruits do best in hotter climates. So give the tasty cayenne, the mild guayillo or the very hot Bangladeshi chilli a go. Keep an eye out for lopper caterpillars, munching precious plants, especially herbs and greens. Exclude them from edibles, feed to the chooks, or relocate and watch them mature. Fruit trees are producing prolifically, so harvest fruits, especially citrus, just as they ripen to prevent spoiling. Consistent watering of fruit trees will prevent split fruit and dropped crops. Have a great gardening weekend and don't forget to head to our website and sign up for our regular Gardening Australia newsletter. 